Hey everyone, this is Lisa Salvatore. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you have been here before, thank you for coming back and stopping by. I'm going to do your readings for the month of August. If you do know your sun, oh, well, obviously you know your sun sign, but if you know your moon sign and your rising sign, I suggest you listen to those as well because you sometimes will resonate more with your other placements. I've also done a video on the big three in the birth chart, which is the sun, the moon, and the rising. I did that a while back and it'll be linked in the description box below. So if you do want to hear why I suggest listening to all of those three signs, there's a better explanation for you there. So I'm going to be doing this a little different this month. Um, I have these little easels here just so I can display the cards. I'm going to shuffle, um, off camera and have the cards already there when I do each sign just because it's easier for me to zone in and, and tune in when I don't have the camera on me because then I feel pressured like I have to hurry up and shuffle so I'm gonna do that off camera but then I'm gonna have the card set up and I'm going to um, intuit the cards and give you your reading for the month of August for all for each sign I'm gonna go from Aries all the way through to Pisces um, and each one will be for the Sun Moon and rising sign of that zodiac sign also, I am still doing private consultations. You can find all of my links below in the description box. And again, thank you for being here with me. Let's get started. Hey Libra, welcome to your August 2020 reading. This reading is going to be for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and or Libra Rising folks. Keep in mind that this reading is for a large audience so take what resonates with you and throw away what does not chances are if you are here there is a message for you i've already gone ahead and shuffled the cards and laid them out and i'm just going to go right in and channel this energy because it's really intense for libra and i just want to get right to it libra okay so you're an air sign right and here we've got the eight of swords the nine of swords and the 10 of swords in succession. And I will tell you, I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle the shit out of my cards. Excuse my language. Um, that doesn't happen when I do readings. Um, so for you, this is like clear as a bell to me. I don't even feel like this is going to be a bunch of different messages because normally when I do these readings, I get like several different messages that could apply to a lot of people, but this is kind of like clear cut straight to the point. Um, I'm going to be honest. You guys have been feeling like crap emotionally you've mentally been beating yourselves up about something in your life either a specific relationship or a situation but you've been going over and over and over and you've had many sleepless nights about it and you maybe even have been having nightmares about it it could be something that happened in the past but it's it seems more like a decision that you might have to make in regards to an important um, relationship in your life about letting something go and it feels like it's really really difficult for you libra really difficult um i mean here we've got stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. So again, like for some of you, an important relationship might've ended and you're just having a really hard time moving forward. And I feel for you. And, um, you know, there's a lot of anxiety attached to this. And, and for those of you that have fallen into the pattern of alcohol, cause I am picking that up for some people, you know, just know that that's going to make your anxiety worse. I do feel that. So it's not even about like, you having a problem with the alcohol because i don't see that it's just more like it's making your anxiety and your sleeping patterns worse so for someone that's definitely applicable um here we've got in the end you tried and you cared and sometimes that is enough so yeah you've tried you've done what you can do or at least you know you feel that you have or maybe you feel like you haven't done or tried enough and that's where all this anxiety is coming from because i feel a lot of mental anguish here libra and i do know libra energy typically is like internalizes a lot and keeps a lot you know under the belt like you don't you're not ones to be like very expressive with your feelings unless of course you have a lot of water in your chart then that's a little different but for the most part libra tends to intellectualize their emotions and make sense of them for themselves like not really ones to put it out there on blast so because of that it would make sense that you're feeling a ton of anxiety um i mean geez eight nine ten it's like it's working in tandem here like you're going through the motions and that's actually a good thing because the 10 is the end of the cycle so in for august you're going to actually be wrapping up a lot of this anxiety you're going to be realizing that you know if you've been wallowing in a breakup or an ending of some kind you're going to recognize in august that it's time to move forward you're setting the stage for the future um and i do feel by your season by libra season which is which starts the end of september things actually feel a lot better because I'm focusing on the sun in this card. And it's like, okay, things are going to be better. You're still going to be feeling a little anxious. You're still going to be in your head. You're still going to be worried. But the ending of that is coming around your season, which is the end of September. Um, lots of sleep issues for this sign I'm picking up on big time. 
um, rerunning, rerunning old storylines in your head, old relationships. You know, listen, if you feel like you've done something that's upset or hurt someone else and it's giving you anxiety, then it's probably worth it to try and correct the situation. But if you feel like someone else has done something to you that's giving you anxiety, I still kind of feel like that message applies and that it might be worth it for you to try to correct the situation because it's obviously, it's bothering you because I see sleepless nights here. So, you know, and then for others of you, there's relationships that you really need to recognize that you've tried your hardest to work them out and work through them. And that, you know, you've shown you cared as best as you can. You've done what you can do. Maybe you've said what's needed to be said, but now it's like, you know, enough is enough. It's time to shut the door. And with that 10 of swords there, it's like, I feel like you're going to mentally shut that door before you physically shut that door. And that's what August is likely about for you, Libra, like mentally shutting the door, moving forward. And then around your season, the end of September through October, you'll actually start that new cycle. You'll be more prepared for the new that's going to come in. So the anxiety should definitely lessen. I'm going to pull two more cards and see what else we get for Libra for the month of August. I'm going to laugh if I get the fool <laughs> just because that's new beginnings, totally new cycle, clean slate. Oh, wow. Okay, the world. Wow, Libra. Yeah, the world is actually the last card of the major arcana. It's the wrapping up of a cycle. And, you know, the world actually represents 21. It's the number 21. Um, it could be like a 21-year cycle that you're coming out of. For some of you, you could have been in a relationship with someone since you were 21, or it's been 21 years or 21 months, but that number 21 is really significant. Um, but it's also, again, it's the ending of a cycle. I mean, you think about what happens at the age of 21. That's like college is over and you're starting a new cycle, right? You're stepping out into the world um, with new tools that you've learned. And it's like, you know, you can have anything that you want. That's what this feels like to me. And paired with the Ten of Swords, it's like, you know, the world comes after the Ten of Swords. So it's a double meaning. It's, you know, you can have the world. It's the beginning of a new cycle. It's the wiping of the slate clean before. But first you have to process it mentally, Libra. So you're still in that process of processing it mentally. And you're going to move it into physicality come end of September, early October. And I know that this is an August reading, but this is like mostly of what's going to be going on in August for you. Um, I do still see a lot of thinking, a lot of being up in the head and the mind. Um, and for those of you, I am getting this strongly for those of you that feel like you've played mind games or you're aware that you've played mind games. All you have to do is apologize. I feel that. Like, all you have to do is apologize. If it's giving you anxiety, then it's worth it to say something. But like I said, if it's not giving you anxiety and you, you know, but it looks like it is, um, then you may need to do something about it. I pulled one more. Your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. So again, starting a new cycle. For some of you, you're doing a complete change of um, life. Like a, maybe you're, I feel like that's work-related for whoever that's for. Like, um... After 21, again, it could be something, a job you've had since you were 21 or a specific um, situation that you were involved in work-wise since you were 21 or for 21 years or something like that. You finally, you're finally realizing after all that anxiety that it's not where you want to be and you're recognizing that you have the tools to move forward and do something more fulfilling to your soul. And again, like you, if, you, if you're thinking that way now and that's what you've been anxious over, just know that your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. The time is coming for you right now, Libra. The time is ripe for you to start planting seeds for the new future for yourself because you're going into a whole new cycle. I hope that that made sense. Take care of yourselves and I will be back in September.